Hey folks, this is Terry uh, here with the Proto School Community Call for May 7th. And we got some fun updates for you today. So I'm going to start off with Jose on some of our content development stuff. Yeah. So we, on the last call, we mentioned that we're going to do some, um, some updates to some tutorials regarding the update to JS IPFS uh, version uh, 4 one and we just we made those updates live so now all the content for the mutable file system tutorial and the regular files api tutorial will are now updated to the last version so um for you to get a a, a way into for you to know if that tutorial if some tutorial has been updated you'll actually get a message for that so i'll just share my screen and show you what that looks like so in the case you have a uh, updated tutorial, you get this kind of message. Uh, we are now using this for these two. So you'll get that for regular files API and also for the mutable um, one. And if, if you in the future we will launch new tutorials, you'll also get a new message, new tutorial message. Um, so in that list of tutorials, you'll be able to quickly see uh, the ones that should have a lot of highlights on. So if I, and this was a big effort, so uh, a team effort as well. So Terry, Alan, and Alex helped as well. And after that, it was just, it was just a lot of crunching, a lot of help in, with the team to get this uh, shipped. Um, yeah, so Terry, you have uh, Filecoin tutorials coming up. Yeah, so we have, um... Three that we're working on outlines for. The first one that is likely to come out is on verified storage on Filecoin. So things like proof of storage, proof of, uh, sorry, proof of replication, proof of space time, um, pieces like that to kind of help people understand how we actually know <laughs> that people are storing our stuff on Filecoin. And then um, probably next in the list would be car files. Car is a format that IPLD uses for large files, um, which you sometimes need to use for Filecoin to kind of condense things down. Um, and then we'd love to build a tutorial on sort of how Filecoin and IPFS work together. This is one where I think people have a lot of questions. So if you have, we're still kind of in the outlining stages for all of these, but if you have questions on these topics or kind of content suggestions, explanations you found that seemed really helpful to you, feel free to go and drop notes in those issues that are linked in the meeting notes. Um, and then I also spoke to Brett at Fleek and his team has offered to build a proto school tutorial on web hosting on IPFS. So Fleek is, um, they used to be called terminal.io and they do web hosting. It's similar to Netlify, but with the content actually living on IPFS underneath. So um, obviously they offer a, a hosted service, but their content will be kind of uh, vendor neutral because we get a lot of questions about how that all works. And um, that's another place where adding your questions would be helpful. Um, yeah, we'll go back to you, Jose, for some stuff around kind of user experience. Yeah. So as I said before, we, we introduced the new messages. So you can actually see the um, uh, what tutorials have been updated, which, which new ones you will need to look out for. Um, we also, for when you have the listing of tutorials, we also introduced the, the include coin tutorials toggle a, a while back. Uh, but now, actually, when you toggle it, it will be uh, save to the option. So if you refresh the page, uh, you'll get that same toggle uh, used. So when, when, whenever you come back, you'll see the same list. And also you can actually copy the link uh, because we're saving that state. So you can copy the link and send that to someone else. And uh, so that person will also see the same list. So if you want to share, in this case, we're targeting people that just want to, uh, for the majority, they, they don't have coding experience. So they, they just want to see um, tutorials that are only um, text-based or multiple choice. And now it's easy to just send them a link with, with when you have this tool off, copy the link and share that, this with them. So they'll be able to 
uh, see only those tutorials if they are interested in. Um, so the next thing that we want to share as well is, so we have uh, a new page for to show off our new newsletter form. Uh, we created the newsletter uh, a while back as well, and now we have a form on the website that you can actually subscribe to and use. Um, this will also be, you'll also be able to see this uh, by the end of the tutorial. So when you go to the last page, you'll also be able to, if you haven't subscribed yet, you'll see that form as well. So, so the users will be able to um, look out for new tutorials and other updates as well. Uh, we also include the uh, checkbox so that uh, leaders can, uh, local event leaders can, uh, can also uh, get subscribed about um, new updates for, for event leadership. Yeah, and that one of the things that's great about having this directly on our website instead of just through MailChimp is that um, this gives you a, an easy link to use if you're hosting a local event to give your attendees a way to get news about Proto School. So you can offer them this link to go and sign up if they're interested. And we've actually had quite a response since we introduced the new page, which is awesome. Yeah, exactly. Um, and just so as a reminder with the the change in local chapter leadership, we're not communicating with local leaders through GitHub anymore. So this is your opportunity to be notified of updates. This is something that you need to do to keep hearing from us about any new resources we offer for event leaders. Yeah. Uh, so the next thing that's coming up soon will be a feedback uh, survey that will be asking uh, users um, when they finish the tutorial. So let's say I'm finishing up an atom of CID, and by the end you'll have a survey, a feedback survey form so you can fill in and say, what were your expectations about the tutorial? What were you excited about? Basically answer a few questions. So you will be able to know uh, how we can improve the content uh, for our users as well. So this is uh, important so that we can um, help the community as well learn the, have to better improve the content and help us uh, do a better service for, for the community as well. Definitely. Uh, yeah. So we also have some other uh, small quick uh, fixes and improvements, of course, um, that are not worth mentioning, but we, we've been doing a lot of, uh, a lot of updates. Uh, we also got a contribution. Um, for a, a small type of content page, which is always very exciting. Um, so thank you. And yeah, so next we have uh, some, some community updates as well. Yeah, so um, those of you who saw the results of our chapter leadership um, survey saw that we've kind of changed our model to be focused on events rather than chapters. So you'll see now that um, the chapters page, which for a while had been just hidden here, is now actually just redirecting to our events page, where you're going to see upcoming events. And if you want to learn more about hosting events near you, the host tab is here with the information that you need. When you go to add an event, to our list, you fill out a form to do that, but we've updated this form to ask you whether your event is going to be hosted in person or virtually. Obviously, that's an option that we want to offer so people can stay safe given the medical conditions right now. Um, so let's see, it doesn't display well here, but in the meeting notes, you can see that you would have like a virtual location listed instead of the city. So. Um, and then I also started a discussion thread. So this is the organizing repo. If you're leading local events and you haven't been there, this is your place to communicate with other chapter leaders through the issue queue. Um, but this is a spot for you to talk about what's working, what's not with virtual events. Obviously, proto school events are still meant to be that really participatory experience where people are walking through our content together at the same time, normally in person, and figuring out how you give that sort of like, I'm here to look over your shoulder if you need me experience online is gonna be a challenge. So I think this will be a great opportunity for people to, to share what's working um, and share their ideas there, or even team up if people from a couple of different local groups wanna team up to, to host an event together, that would be awesome. So feel free to throw your ideas in there. 
Um, yeah, I think that's it for our for our updates today. Anything else you think of, Jose? Yeah, I think that's it. Cool. Um, yeah, that's it. So we will see you in early June and plenty plenty to work on before then. As always, we're, we love contributions. Like Jose said, it, we always love when we get a PR from someone, even if it's just finding a typo, we're very happy to have the help. So uh, feel free to reach out if you want to get involved. And we will see you later. Bye. Bye-bye.